Greetings, unsettled souls. As promised, you know what that music means. Welcome to the Correct Views. Dunce Cap of the Month show. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas, because it's probably going to be the last posting that I do before Christmas. This hat is way not centered on my head, which is a travesty. So there's the winner. I'll give you a hint. NBC managed to win the Dunce Cap of the Month award. They might be wondering why. Well, you know, there's a standard reason. They are, of course, the mainstream media. But no, it's deeper than that. You see, the media mob, as the, Mark Dice likes to say, in general, has been... I'll highlight the screen in a minute. You'll be able to read it, I promise. Um, they've been on this thing where if... Look, for instance, if Santa Claus isn't black, then Santa Claus isn't inclusive. What? First of all, Santa Claus is a cartoon. So if it's okay to change the race of Santa to make him more inclusive to blacks, then is it in turn also okay to take another cartoon, like Fat Albert, and make him white? so that he is more inclusive to white people? It's a fair question. The other way to attack this is to say that Santa Claus is a, a cartoon, but you could argue, hey, Sam, the point is St. Nicholas was actually a real person. Yeah. He was a real person. Let me, let me show the screen here. He is a real person who's thought to look like that. Let me see if I can uh, if I can move the screen. That. Okay, that's what he's believed to look like. Now, let me ask you a question. What is it about Saint Nicholas, the real Saint Nicholas, which was not inclusive? Well, he was white. Did you? Anybody in the comment line would like to elaborate on this? Uh, if I leave anything off, let me know. You do realize what St. Nicholas is known for. The, the whole reason why he became the Santa Claus mythos to begin with. You know why, correct? St. Nicholas saved not one, not two, but three likely Islamic Definitely brown-skinned women from a life of misery to a life where they would have been no more than chattel. That's what St. Nicholas did. He left them gold. I believe he tossed it in their window. It was for three different people of color. And you want to take this man, this white man, who was a godsend to black people, and you want to change his race because he wasn't inclusive? He gave gold dowries back when this mattered. I can't give you a history lesson in 10 minutes on everything, but it mattered. Okay, suffice to say, nobody who knows anything about history is going to argue with me here. If you didn't have a dowry in that culture at that time, your life was squat, over, finished, done, gone, out, to quote Anthrax. And now you've got the woke mob and all these people that want to change the race of Santa Claus? After what he did, I mean, that wasn't all that he did. Look up St. Nicholas. He was one of the best people who ever lived. He was like the Mother Teresa of his time. So... I'm going to be nailing them a hat. You're going to get to see it in a moment, but you've been looking at this. I'm sure you want to know exactly what it says, so I'm going to zip in on it as I promised that I would for you. It says uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. This Dunce Cap of the Month goes to NBC and to others in the folly-ridden woke movement, I wrote, who have chosen to seek diversity by allowing cultural appropriation to purposefully misportray the royal image of an actual saint, that of St. Nicholas. What did I mean there? I meant that we're always told that white people shouldn't have dreadlocks or that uh, black people shouldn't wear Bruce Lee shirts. It's cultural appropriation. Well, why isn't it cultural appropriation 
take a white man and turn him black. Now, I personally don't have a problem with any of this. My point is the people who are pushing it. I'm libertarian. I don't care what you do. But the point is it's stupid and it divides people and it's worthy of the dumb cap of the month, which it's getting, as you hear. I also wrote, though he was in fact white, this saint, capital S, gave of his own money to those who were likely Islamic and certainly brown-skinned from living a life of misery being without a dowry. He saved blacks, but was not himself black. For a supposed news outlet to not know this, I correctly wrote, is a disgrace, and the site is listed under. But here is the hat that they're going to be sent. First of all, I, I drew a pr pretty good picture of the, the, the real uh, uh, St. Nicholas there. I did give him hair, because I think at one time he had hair. I think it says here historically accurate, but I'm close. And he says, uh, I, the real St. Nicholas, helped black people. Why not celebrate this historical fact? You can see his tears. Yeah. Uh, dunce, of course, and is the, uh, my, my always no smoking symbol, NBC. Um, okay, now this is Santa and the reindeer. There's only one reindeer, googly-eyed as he is, and uh, the, uh, the Santa is saying, not my best cartoon this time, Santa is saying, so, if we are, if making me black is more inclusive, should Fat Albert be made white to include white kids? Question mark. The deer says, the other deer are all fired for the good of diversity. Now, this and the printed out copy of that award, I'm like, back on, I gotta get one of these hats, like two hats back here on the sending, but they are gonna get sent. Again, there was a technical glitch, and uh, that's why everything is catching up. This is important. Are you still with me? Leave it in the comment line and say, yeah, I'm still with you. Guess what? It's back. The whopping $10 prize. That's right. $10. On uh, either Thursday or Friday, I'm going to post a couple of dunce, dunce stories that I have not been able to get to since everything got crunched, and I promised you you'd get more dumdies, and you will. I had to get the winner done here, and it is now the whopping $10 prize. Either Thursday or Friday, Saturday at the latest. It's probably going to be Christmas Eve because I have no life, and it's, it's, it's Christmas Eve is, you know, it's magic for those who have a life. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably post the contest then. And what I'm going to do is very simple. Very, very simple. Very simple. You will be picking whatever of the 12 that dunce cap stories that we've done all year. I will remind you of what they were, including this one. And you will pick what you think is the dumbest. What was the dumbest of those 12? That person is going to get sent a little tiny gold hat called the Golden Dumdy. And you only get it once a year, and it's voted on by you. And I'm going to pick one person who voted randomly... Just random. Not even most votes. Just random. Well, no, I will do the most votes. I take that back. It'll be the most votes, but whoever wins is going to be random. Let me word that better. I sound like Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Sam! Um, so tell me what you think the dumbest is. It'll be done on popular vote, but it, you don't have to be the most popular vote to win. How's that? What do you win? The whopping $10 prize. You'll have to give me a, a mailing address or something. Obviously, I'm not a host, not a psychic. But that will be happening again. I probably post that on Friday because it'll give everybody about a week to get their votes in. Because the golden dummy is, you know, has to go out in January. So that's it, friends. Good night. God bless. And it's going to be uh, maybe some eh, news coming in January. Just a heads up.